Hello everyone, my name is Slava Makadov. I'm the head of the Wargaming.net R&D department, and I work on new projects. Sometimes I help other teams with their current projects. And today we're going to talk about the work on the new world of tanks balance, and how you as players can help us with that. The thing is that when we were making tanks, we had a concept where only heavy tanks would have a tier 10, and everybody would love them, would like to have them, etc. It came about that this approach was completely wrong, and we had to adjust other branches accordingly. We created tier 10 medium tanks, tank destroyers, and SPGs. And this made us go further than we initially planned. And this had some negative consequences. One of the problems we were facing could be described as the inflation of the game characteristics. One way or another, we always had an incentive to make some of the tanks better. And then we had to adjust other vehicles again bring them in line with those we improved, we changed the way the physics worked. And each time the development team tried their best to make sure the tanks would be as good as they were before. After all these changes in physics and characteristics, and little by little vehicle characteristics increased, and at some point we had that quality change. When any vehicle that leaned out immediately became spotted because the tanks could spot each other at long distances. They got hit immediately since the tanks could hit each other at long distances. Their armor was penetrated because premium shells sold for credits allowed players to penetrate tanks at long distances and you just got wrecked. After that, you started to hate SPGs. And what was the reason for it? Why did the players start to hate them? The answer is quite simple. It was designed as a unit, the task of which was to make other vehicles actively move around the map and leave their hideouts. But leaving cover, attacking and being aggressive became unprofitable. And this is where we faced a paradox. An SPG, which is supposed to make you leave your cover, is not able to do that. And what happens next? He keeps hitting you. And you either get destroyed by the SPG, or the rest of the players are focusing on you when you get destroyed anyway. Either option is bad for you. The biggest balance mistake we made in the time we were running the World of Tanks concept will probably make you laugh. The thing is that we chose the IS-7 to be the top USSR vehicle. And this Uber vehicle with a 130mm gun, high penetration rate, super sturdy armor, and maneuverability exceeding that of some medium tanks, you know, 60 kilometers per hour. This kind of made medium tanks useless. Of course, we nerfed it a bit, especially when it comes to maneuverability. But the IS-7 set the bar very high. And that was our mistake. As far as the nerf is concerned, we were making that constantly. Every patch, we make changes to balance on a small basis. Uh, one tank gets nerfed, one tank gets buffed, maybe a little tweak to armor, a tweak to guns, tweaks to functionality, small changes. But when you're making small changes like that, you can do that on a, on a, on a quick basis and you can release it live. But the kinds of changes that we're talking about making here are more global. They're bigger system-wide changes to the game. What we want to try is a kind of compromise between the super test and common test. We would like to involve a large number of players in testing the balance we're planning to implement. Our idea is to make this test as focused as possible. We'll start from the very top, 
make playing on Tier 10 vehicles as enjoyable as possible, and then we'll start moving towards lower tiers and do the same. We've got the mouse, which is good at absorbing and sustaining damage, and that's its main advantage. And we've got the AMX-50B. These are different vehicles, and we decided to start with them. Once we're done with the horizontal balance, that is, the balance inside Tier 10, we'll move on to the lower tiers once we're satisfied with the balance changes we applied to Tier 10 vehicles. Then we'll switch to Tier 9, then Tier 8, and we'll tweak these three tiers in terms of vertical balance, and so on, moving to the first tiers. We would like to understand the role of each vehicle in battle. There will be more roles than we used to have, not just medium, heavy, or light tanks. We would like to make these roles more prominent and clear-cut. To do that, we really need to play the full rebalanced game as a full game. But we can't do that live to players because then, if it doesn't feel very right, then it's going to make the game worse in the short term. So what we're going to move to is the concept of a, of a sandbox, a, a beta realm that players can play in and come in on a limited basis and help us make the game that they want it to be. Sandbox is what we call the common test server, where we'll be testing all the changes that we make. We're planning to create a role-based system, surely you've heard about that, known as Balance 2.0, that kind of stuff. This sandbox will be the place where it's all going to be tested. We call it a sandbox because we have a lot of changes and a lot of variants. We're testing it and then deciding whether we like it or not. Then we make another change. So this is going to be a server where all these changes will be a common practice. It's like playing with a bucket and spade. You make a sandcastle, play with it, get bored, then flatten it and make new ones. We're going to change things on this server very frequently. And our main idea is to show our progress. We're not afraid to rebuild these structures. Fun for players. This is what we're looking to achieve. If it's fun to play, it means we're on the right track. If it's not fun, it means we took the wrong path. Playing. Having fun. This kind of experience needs to be delivered to all players. That the biggest end of the plan is that it's done when it's done. It's done when it's good enough. It's done when it's right. When it's the game that players want to play, that we want to have them playing, when it's filling all the goals that we think that it needs to fill, that's when we'll ship it, and not before. The launch of the test server is a huge leap forward for all of us. We're asking our active players to join the test. Together, we'll make our game better. Thank you so much for helping us.